One of the most phenomenal growth areas in recent years has been in the area of sharing photos and short clips as a tool for social communication. It's a great way to build an audience for your website or blog, and a fantastic way to show off your product or service to people. As more and more people get smartphones, and most of the platforms we're going to cover in this video are smartphone-based, this can only get bigger. The main platforms that we're going to cover in this video are Snap, which was formerly known as Snapchat, Vine, and Periscope. Now let's take a look at Snap. This used to be called Snapchat, but it recently changed its name and it's going into hardware as well as software. Now, Snap works with a very specific media for communicating with users. And there are a couple of differences that make this platform unique and one of the most interesting social media platforms in use today. You know, like using photos and videos to communicate with other people. While Twitter and Facebook and most social media platforms mainly communicate with text, the only text you'll find here is the captions on pictures and videos. Another difference is that when you post your pictures and videos, they'll generally last for only 1 to 10 seconds, although you can post stories that can last up to 24 hours. Then they vanish like a ghost, hence the logo. And it's better to use stories more than snaps to advertise your products or services, because obviously they stay around for longer. So think of a story like a viral video. You know if you make it overly promotional, well, quite frankly, it's just not going to work. So you want something clever, something that no one has ever seen, and something that evokes emotion. And this will make people want to share the story with their friends and it'll give you the exposure that you're looking for. Creating good stories will also make people want to follow you. So every time you create a story, keep in mind that you're both trying to get people to follow you and you're trying to get your product or service out there. If you want to get a good idea as to how stories work and which ones are most popular, Check out some of the Snapchat stories, and they still use the old name at the moment, on BuzzFeed. Breaking news! Snap Incorporated is releasing a new piece of hardware, Snap Spectacles. These are glasses with a built-in camera. Simply tapping on the side of the glasses will record 10 seconds of video footage from a first-person perspective. So now you can record video just like you're looking at it. It's almost like having a GoPro strapped to your head. Can you imagine the possibilities this is going to unfold? Now the company will be releasing the product to the market soon, so best to set up a Google Alert to keep informed of the latest developments. Then there's Vine. And Vine is a social network where people can share six-second looping videos. Twitter thought so much of it, they acquired it for a reported $30 million. And that was before its official launch. As of December 2015, the last statistics that are available, Vine had 200 million active users. And users' videos are published through Vine's social network and can be shared on other services such as Facebook and Twitter. And Vine's app can also be used to browse through videos posted by other users. Now, when you're using Vine, the camera only records while the screen is being touched, and this enables users to edit on the fly or create stop-motion effects. And there were some additional features added to the app in July 2013, and these include grid and ghost image tools for the camera, curated channels, including themed areas and trending topics or users, protected posts, and the ability to revine videos on a personal stream. Your approach to marketing on Vine and Periscope, which we'll get to in a moment, should be similar to your approach to Snap entertaining, shareable, and not salesy. 
and you can see some Vine videos and download the app at vine.co. Finally, there's Periscope. Now, Periscope is similar to Vine insofar as it streams short videos. The key difference is that Periscope streams videos live. And when you use Periscope, you'll find that you're presented with a map of the world upon signing in. And on this map are various points where you can see people who are currently streaming video. So simply click on the dot on the map and the name of the broadcaster, and then you can tune in and start watching what they're filming. You know, it's a bit like having your own TV station in that respect. And you can then comment on the video, you can ask questions, you can like it, you can follow the person, or you can leave and watch something else. And in addition to the same strategies as for Snap and Vine, you can also use Periscope to get traffic to a website or visitors to a bricks and mortar store by running a flash offer. The geolocating feature means users can pinpoint where you are at that very moment. Now, these are just three of the new and exciting photo and video apps out there, and new ones are being developed all the time. By honing your strategy on these platforms, you'll be in pole position to start marketing on the newer apps and you know, as soon as they launch, which will put you one step in front of the competition.